Hello everyone and welcome back to another GT Online guide. Today we're going to be doing some boat racing tips and tricks. In the past I've done some racing related videos with tips and tricks on most aspects of racing, but I never really talked about boats that much. But anyways, here we are so let's get to the guide. So let's begin the guide by talking about some of the boats you should use in boat races. Basically I'm going to say either use the Speeder or the Jet Max if you want top speed in a race. These two boats will work best on most boat races as long as the course isn't too windy because the cornering on these boats isn't too great. Speaking of cornering, if you have a very windy course, maybe with a lot of obstacles on the track, you'll want to go with some of the smaller boats such as the dinghy or even the sea shark if there's a particularly tough course to navigate. For most boats, the steering is on the back, so you kind of have to plan for when you're going to begin a turn if the course requires you to bank around a tight corner. Failure to do so will mean that you can very easily overshoot a checkpoint and look like an idiot as you have to stop reverse and hit a checkpoint you missed. It's best for you to just grab a boat and get a feel for how they handle in the water. Speaking of handling, as you ride along in a boat you have to constantly monitor the waves that are in front of you, as doing this can mean the difference between win or lose, and if you react to upcoming waves correctly it can shave precious seconds off of your lap times. So here's how you do it. The basic idea is to keep your engine under the surface for as long as possible, and you want to avoid needlessly flying through the air as a result of taking a considerably big wave. Let's call it ramping. You want to avoid ramping as much as possible and while it's pretty much impossible to eliminate it altogether, it's possible to dampen out your boat with the wave so you can go over it more efficiently. For starters, 100% of the time you're driving a boat you should always be leaning back. This helps keep your engine under the surface and will give you speed boost for when the front of the boat is high in the air but your engine is under the water. The only time you should stop pulling back is for turning which by now I should probably state that PC keyboard users like me can take advantage of having the ability to lean back as well as steering with the default controls being keypad 5 to lean back, W to accelerate and then A and D to turn. Controller users can't really do this because with their limited control set they have to balance between leaning back and turning. This allows you to more effectively keep the engine in the water and turn at the same time. Anyways, the other time you should stop leaning back is when you're leaning forward to dampen out ramping. This is when a particularly big wave is right in front of you. You have to lean forward to let your boat glide over it rather than letting the wave send the boat high in the air, which is what we definitely want to avoid. Just give it some practice and you'll get a feel for how the boat rides through the waves. So remember, hold back to utilise the engine under the surface, plan your cornering and balance between leaning back and cornering if you have to, and dampen out big waves by leaning forward at the right moment. All of this will help you shave precious seconds off of your boat racing. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the Pyro Gaming Channel for loads more GTA Online guides coming to you very soon. See you around!